Hey guys, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear, and today I'm bringing you a solar panel. Uh, I brought this a while ago, but it took about five weeks to get here. Um, for some reason, they shipped it with um, lithium ion 18650s, and then um, customs held it up, and then they had to resend it, and it was a bit of a hassle. Uh, but it finally made it here and uh, I'm just going to run you a test to see how long it takes for my phone to get from 84% to 99 um, I'll just go through the specs of the solar panel uh, It's a 5 watt solar panel Okay, and working voltage is DC 5 volts uh, Working current is 1 amp, so it is going to be a pretty slow charge it weighs 60 grams and it's 22 centimeters by 20 centimeters by one centimeter thick. Um, and it's been about two hours and my phone has charged to 15%. Uh, um, so yeah, so it's not the fastest, but it does the job. Uh, it is a sunny day here in Australia and it is about 24, 25 degrees and right now it is midday so we are getting the best of the sun's rays but in a survival situation uh, this can be a lifesaver uh, things to think about too is the cord uh, that you're using sometimes um, this is only one amp this uh, the cord shouldn't really matter but some cords don't let through as many amps so they take longer to charge your phone and uh, my phone is 2600 milliamp hours the battery and um, the Wi-Fi is off and uh, the signals off uh, obviously if you want your phone to charge a little bit faster just turn it off altogether and then it will charge faster and we'll run the test and we'll see how it goes uh, hey guys, as you can see, it's a sunny day here in Australia. Um, I've got this steel roof here, and I think I might just climb up there, and I'll put it up the top, because I've got a 3 meter uh, USB cable, so then I'll put my phone over here to charge, and I'll start the timer um, when I plug it in, and we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, on second thoughts, um, I'm going to charge it right there. Because it'll be um, more useful if I show you like something that you use in real life. Uh, I guess I um, would only bother to use in a survival situation anyway. But um, yeah, so you could probably get up somewhere higher if you uh, did need the power. But we'll try it here because it is morning sun uh, in Australia, so I am facing the right way. I'm plugging in the cable now. I don't really need my tripod. Alright, so the cable's in. I don't know if you will even be able to see that. Alright, hopefully you can see that. If it focuses, you can see the little charging symbol. This is on. It's blurry. I'm going to go clean this lens. Alright, uh, you can see the little charging symbol's on, and it's at 84%. And I'm going to start the timer right now, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I need my tripod. I'm not going to hold this camera at the same time. Um, great watch also, people. There we go. The timer's on. And uh, I'll come out here every 10 minutes and I'll see how it's going. Hey guys, I was going to do it every 10 minutes. But it looks like it'll be um, every 15 or so minutes now. We'll just go check how it's going. Um, also remember that uh, the USB cable can affect uh, how long it takes to charge too. Corner up by 1%. Hey guys, it's now been 30 minutes and we'll go and check how it's coming along. Uh, 
87% now. So it's gone up 3% in 30 minutes without me using it. Hey guys, we're now up to 45 minutes and we'll check out how the phone's coming along. It's now at 90%, so it's getting faster and faster. Hey guys, it's now been an hour and one minute and we'll check out how it's going. See if it's coming along good. It's now up to 92%. Alright guys, I gave it a little bit longer now. It's been half an hour extra, so it's now up to 1 hour and 30 minutes. And we'll check and see how it's going. phone is now at 96% if you can see that so maybe half an hour more and it should be done move the panel too so it's getting more direct sun sunlight hey guys it's now been two hours exactly and we'll see how the phone's going that's coming along Now at ninety eight percent. All right, guys, it's pretty much done. It's been two hours and five minutes. It's only up to ninety seven percent. You won't be able to see that. Actually, up to ninety eight percent now, which means we started on eighty four which is pretty much 15% in two hours, uh, give or take, because uh, I did have to turn the phone, keep on checking the phone every 15 minutes, so that would have taken a little bit of battery. So we'll call it two hours for 15%. So to charge your phone, 15, four. So four hours will be 30, eight hours will be 60%. So, it'll take you at least a whole day of uh, sunlight to charge your phone fully. But in a survival situation, you won't need to charge your phone fully. You'll just need to charge it just enough um, to get a GPS signal to help you work out maps. And maybe to try and make a call to see if you can contact anyone or listen to the radio. Uh, that's pretty much all that you will be hoping for. Um, I might actually grab a second one of these too. Uh, my one came with a USB plug uh, already uh, attached and it's got rubber on it. It looks like it should be water resistant. Uh, this isn't, it is attached but it's not sealed that great. But I might throw some water on it and see how it goes. There's nothing that electrical besides the USB, which if that dries out, that'll be sweet. Probably just pour water on it and try not to get it inside the USB cable. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear, uh, bringing you uh, solar panel charging. Thank you.